I think when you get good enough at something, it kind of just becomes about like, for a long time anyway, it becomes about like you and like your ego and everything like that, right? I've been in esports now since, I'm gonna say like concrete 2013. There wasn't really any infrastructure or anything. I was just kind of doing it as a part-time hobby whilst I was still at uni. And then once I got presented like the opportunity to do it full-time and move to Sydney, that was kind of like when I considered that it was like actually my career. It's so much easier, I think, to like get into now that the infrastructure like exists, there's so many resources that you have now. Like before you just had to like kind of be somewhat talented and like just grind a lot. And if you fell into it, like you were like, lucky or whatever but now I feel like if you want to pursue it and like you really want to do it I think there are so many avenues that you have available to you to be able to do it yeah when I got invited to the, my first land um, I think mum thought that like I was being scammed or something being taken advantage of so she actually came with me up to Sydney because I was also 17 because it wasn't like that lucrative at the time like, it was very obvious that, like, my parents wanted me to, you know, do the standard path of, like, uni into a, like, a higher degree. I never really made, kind of, an active decision where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna move into esports or, like, it was my dream or anything. I was just good at the game and I really enjoyed playing it and I really enjoyed like beating other people. Yeah, it was my passion, I guess. It was like where I found the most enjoyment in my life at the time. So I, it just, it just kind of happened. Now Ambition quite low here, Swiffer needs to keep moving in, does get the kill there as Nidalee does go down. Now Daydream could be in a little bit of trouble, gets Silence in there as well, the damage moves in, Swiffer not quite low enough, and Immunity pick up two. First time I went overseas was really big. That was uh, WCG like 2013. So that was, I, that, that's what I was like, wow, maybe I am actually really good, right? And then, um, and then following on from that, it was like, I remember really vividly winning uh, against Legacy in the OPL, like when the OPL was first, like the, the premier match of the OPL in like 2015, because we had just lost to them like all year in 2014. And then we came back and went like undefeated or whatever it was from like 2015 to 2016. For me, it's like, I try and think about my life if I hadn't done it and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, I wouldn't have like some of the friends that I do now and stuff like that. I think like that's the thing that I, it sounds so lame, but like that's the thing that like I kind of feel like I've gained the most from doing all of this. It's like the relationships and stuff like that. And I think all the performance peaks and stuff are just something that um, I appreciate along, along the way. Like if they happen, they happen and stuff like that. But I think it's like things that I, will take away from it after, like I'm done with it, that I will probably cherish more.